Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software, where today we're going to be looking at importing custom JSON icons into our Power BI GUI so that we can access these icons with all, with all of the other conditional formatting ones. So the data, very simple mock data. It's not actually really important in this case. We've got a region and the sales for 2020 and 2021. But what if we wanted to add a conditional formatting icon uh, within the values section to the 2021 sales? Okay, and we go in and we look through the icons and you can see not that much choice. So there's a few ways that we could go and get icons and there's a few stages we could um, get icons, base 64 strings, use them in DAX. We could import them into our data model. I think that's a bit clunky. So we're going to go to flaticons.net, get some PNG icons or one icon in our case. We're going to convert it to base 64, take it through a validator, add it to a JSON file and import it directly into Power BI with our conditional formatting icons. So here I'm on flaticons.net and 52px is probably a good size. I'm going to give it a nice green upward trend color. You could use icons8.net or any of the other sort of flat icon sites, but um, I like the simplicity and also the variety that flat icons gives us. So stage one, I've got my PNG icon. It's downloaded. Great. What do I do next? Well, for this to work in the JSON file, I need to convert it to a base64 file. You don't really need to know what that is. It produces a string. But if you go to base64 image.de, we can actually just select an image and it will convert it for us. And then we can apply this into our JSON file that we'll look at soon. So I'm going to select that latest image from my files, select it, and it's going to encode it. So we can press show code, um, select all, and then copy to clipboard. We can see at the top left there, that is our icon. Um, so yeah, we're, we're already going through stage two now, copy to clipboard, and we're gonna add this to our JSON file. Now, I guess the thing is, how do you make a JSON file? Where do you even begin? Well, there's, there's a basic syntax that we can follow, and I'm actually using gonna use the notepad application that comes with Windows so you can just search it. You know, you can use your, your usual text editors. Many people use Visual Studio for Microsoft things. I would use Atom. But this is the basic syntax and I'm, I'm going to do it simply for people who maybe don't have an IDE or aren't sort of into programming or coding. We can just have a notepad file. Curly brackets, we need a name. I'm going to call it custom icons. Then we say that it's, you know, it's icons, icon type. And then I'm just going to call this one my graph icon. Because remember, you may have several lines if you're doing more than one icon. And then all you need to do, you could take this piece. You just need to add a description. And then we can just co just copy and paste in that base64 string after this URL piece. So we actually only had to fill in sort of one or two pieces of information from that original boilerplate code with the base64 string obviously being the important part after the URL. But before we go ahead and save this, it's important to remember you need to save it as a JSON file. So don't save it as a standard TXT in a notepad. You can call it whatever you like and you need to go into all files as a save as type and give it a name. So it could be graph icon um, and then you need to remember to put dot JSON. And that's all you need to do. You have now created a JSON file. You could, of course, add this to your standard theme if you have a custom JSON theme. But if you just wanted to do this, add some icons. That's how you can do it. Now, if you're new to JSON, what I would also do, um, you can go to codebeautify.org forward slash JSON validator, much like your DAX um, or your SQL. You know, you get the formatters um, to, to format everything well. But you can actually check that this is correct JSON and it will work as a JSON file. So I can see, I click validate JSON, there's no error messages or issues there. So it should work correctly. So the last stage, we need to go to view. Um, within the themes, we can hit that drop down, and then we click browse for themes. And you can see I have graph icon. It's got those nice yellow curly braces, which means it is in fact a JSON file. And I can import that in. 
and it will import successfully. We've checked it within that JSON um, validating tool. So we can bring that in. And then what you should see now is when we go and go to apply some conditional formatting, you're now going to see that that custom icon is there present with all of the other icons. And yeah, like I said, it's a lot less clunky than bringing it into your data model, potentially pasting those strings into DAX measures. I would rather just bring it into the GUI and everything's gonna, gonna function well. And we can do whatever we want there. We can add some DAX um, to compare year on year, you know. Um, so again, I'm not worried about the rule, but I'm just going to show you when I hit the drop down, it's there. It looks good actually. Um, pleased with how that looks. I can click OK and show you. Um, pretty impressive. We just had to go on. We've essentially created our own PNG, converted it um, to a base64, brought it into a JSON file and maybe, hopefully, learned a lot from this um, few minutes that we've been together. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.